All right, have and have not fans, thanks so much for tuning in for this video. We're going to be talking about Mitch Malone and the fact that I think he is really pushing his Malone name and it's going to blow up in his face. And before going any further, if you haven't done so already, if this is your first time on the channel, I hope you take a moment to hit that subscribe button as well as give this video a thumbs up let's shoot for a goal of 110 likes on this video and for everyone who is listening to my voice now if you haven't done so hit the bell notification icon that way you don't miss out whenever i post new content to youtube and finally links to all my social media are in the description below follow me on twitter instagram join my facebook groups all that good stuff is below for this video my gosh we know that mitch is willing to do whatever it takes in order to protect Candace and the young family from Jim's rap due to the fact that he wants Jim to let go the fact that, hey, the $8 million, let it go. You know how our family is when it comes to owing people favors. Candace is special to us. And Jim pretty much, you know, tried to be, for once, not an asshole. He was just trying to calmly speak to Mitch in regards to, hey, this is my son's inheritance. I'm not just going to let this go, Mitch. I'm sure you can understand that. I mean, you can make the argument that, of course, he was going to be somewhat respectful because this was a Malone. This was Mama Rose's grandson. And we know what happens when you piss Mama Rose off when it comes to her family, specifically Mitch. But number one, I don't think Jim is going to let this go. If you saw my video about, you know, Jim and Kyle and the fact that Candace's connections with the Malones could actually be used against her in order to make her look bad to the press possibly tarnish uh you know charles right before he goes into the white house and also revenge for conley saying that he's going to do a federal investigation on this justice department that you know kyle is ahead of right now and the fact that conley farted in his chair but i think that mitch is actually going to go too far and it's going to backfire i mean look at the fact that the malones don't really like black people to begin with there is, despite Mama Rose being the head of the Malone family, I feel like there's a lot of stuff going on right now that she isn't aware of. I'm not saying that just because she hasn't been in the show for a while, but I'm just saying that, wait, when was the last time we saw Mama Rose? Was it when Warlock was killed? Was that it? I forgot. But in any case, I feel like when it comes down to, you know, Mitch is probably going to bring more heat on. Mitch has a way of helping out people, but it actually turns out for the worst. For example, I feel like one of the best examples of this is when Candace had given Warlock the $2 million to make things good between the two. That way he wouldn't show up to her house unannounced, wouldn't physically assault her anymore, and they were on good terms. But then you get to the point where Mitch actually had them alone to put him under arrest. And as a result of that, Warlock thought that Candace did it and the next thing you know he and Jim meet up in jail form an alliance and as a result of that he goes after Candace and we know at the end of the day Quincy Jr. died as a result of that and thankfully Candace and Mitch were able to work together in order to put you know Warlock down. Look at it in this situation. We know that Mitch is trying to protect Candace from Jim. And he pretty much explained how he would even lie to his grandmother in regards to, oh, yeah, guess what? I was shot at when I tried to save Candace Young's brother because Jim had him kidnapped. And we know that the last time that Mitch was shot at by Warlock, Mama Rose told Jim that maybe it's time to remind his town who runs it and why the Malones are, should, should be feared. And she was willing to cause a freaking bloodbath if necessary in order to do so but Jim was thankfully able to calm her down in regards to let me find Warlock so his connections with Mama Rose were severed but at the same time he helped to temporarily save the city believe it or not but then you know Warlock got killed anyway so Mitch to me saying that he would lie for the sake of oh yeah um the Candace is very special to us no she's not she's only special to you because you have a crush on her here's what I think if you watch my video about you know Jim and Kyle Jim could tell um, Kyle about the fact that Candace still has his millions, which Kyle honestly wouldn't give a damn about because of the fact that, oh, well, guess what? We already put out stories about her being a con artist, extortionist, having affairs with these powerful people. But Landon or Charles's camp was able to spin it against us. But given the fact that the Malones are already under federal investigation, if Jim is able to, you know, hey, well, guess who she's buddy buddy with right now? 
Oh my God. Dun, dun, dun. Candace having ties to Malone's would just be a field day with the press. And honestly, I don't think there's anything. As good as Landon is, I feel like if he's successful with getting Candace and Landon together, I mean, excuse me, if he's successful with getting Candace and Charles together, I feel like the Malone bomb will drop right when those two are getting cozy again. They're in the press and everybody's like, oh, yeah, the, the next American uh, couple in the White House. This is amazing. And then that's when the Malone story will drop and then I'll just blow everything up. And as good as Landon is, I don't think there's any way to uh, spin that story because I feel like as good as Landon is this is jo at his job and he's doing very well right now. I feel like he might ignore the fact that Oh, wait, Candace, you have how much money in your bank account? And then figure out that, oh, my God, I missed this. This went directly over my head. And unfortunately for Landon, you know, it's going to be something that he wish he could fix. But it's too late because he didn't notice it. So when the Malone story comes out and then the fact that Candace has all these millions of dollars and then it makes the news that million, those millions are still going to be in her bank account. And that's going to look incredibly bad. So that ain't a good look. So I think that with Candace being tied to the Malones and that being a major press article, that's going to bring down the federal government breathing down the Malones neck. Look, the Malones are powerful and everything, but we're talking about the freaking federal government. And I remember that uh, way back when Oscar said he had some powerful people saying that they didn't want Charles to win the election. That could be one of two things. Number one, I, at first I thought the Malones were involved somewhat. Maybe they have ties to the president you know the current administration and um if charles made it into the office maybe his administration or politics were something that would make things even harder for the malones as opposed to his opponent who i believe Catherine said was a female so that could be argued but i'm willing to bet that with the federal government already having the malones under investigation i think it's safe to say that the malones probably don't have any ties in the higher ranking authority that is the you know dc so I feel like Mama Rose, if there were ever, look, Mama Rose should have come back a long time ago, but if there were ever a time for Mama Rose to actually come back into the series, it would be because of the fact that Mitchell, my grandson, the one that Mitch says, you know, oh, she loves me and she'll do anything to protect me. This could actually blow up in his face bad because remember, there's a behind the scenes look from filming back in 2018 where both Sandy Malone and Mitch look pretty beat up. I think it's because um, Mitch gets into it with his family because guess what? Mitch's activity actually makes things worse for them. Sure, he's doing it to protect Candace and her family because of his own, you know, lust for her. But I feel at the end of the day, Mitch trying to protect the fan or protect Candace and them, um, despite the fact that they have over eight million dollars of crier money. That's actually going to bring the heat because of the fact, once again, Jim might not have any power right now. He might not have any you know, tricks up his sleeve to handle the Malone family because of their power. Guess what? He's going to take it a step further by getting the attorney general involved. So I think, and I don't think that they'll be able to connect the ties to um, Jim. I mean, even if Jim, well, Jim could be like, guess what, Candace, you had the Malones. I got the federal government up yours. So I think that's how it's going to go down. And Mitch is going to pay the price. Even though that's the grandson, guess what? You made it hard for the entire family by helping out this black girl. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Mitch, this entire situation is going to blow up in his face? I think it will. Also, um, make sure if you haven't done so. Oh, shoot. This could also tie into that theory I did a couple years ago about the Malones assassinating Charles. Because if Candace and Charles together, then it's like, oh, yeah, guess what? The, the girl that got us in all this trouble to begin with she's going to pay and the charles too but i mean then again i don't know i don't know if they would intentionally go after charles because you know if the federal government is already breathing down your neck assassinating the president-elect probably isn't the best thing so i feel like this could definitely go many directions but mitch is definitely pushing the malone name way too far and he's going to have to pay for that at some point so i've already done my social media plugs so all i say right now is Thank goodness this is video number seven. I'm done recording right now. I'll edit soon and post all the videos today. Um, if we get any clips of significance before the episode comes on tonight, I'll do videos. And if not, then hey, guess what? You'll catch my episode review. If I'm, I should be awake. I might do a live stream after the episode like I did last week to go over it. I just hope the episode is good. So thanks so much, guys. Follow me on Twitter because I will be on Twitter live tweeting during the midseason finale.